hi guys I'm so excited to have you here again today and today's video is about how you can make money producing and selling dry leaves and some other food stuff now this is a very wonderful business let me use um, leaves that are very common that people use often in Nigeria for example scent leaf bitter leaf um, okazi leaf uh, ozuza leaf now have you ever been to the market before in the evening probably after close of work or school and you really want to cook but you can't find the sleeves because normally they sell them fresh and sometimes it's already out of stock by the time you're done for the day so here they are this is okazi leaf and this is ozuza leaf um here is ozuza seed bitter leaf i dehydrated some of those ones before coming to france sometimes i feel like having nigerian taste of food and it's so easy uh, for me to cook with any of those now these are things items that people use on daily basis in nigeria this leaf business is a very lucrative one because it doesn't require too much time for you to dehydrate leaves so if you're making use of an oven that um, is a gas oven you don't need too much gas for you to dehydrate your leaves if you're making use of a dehydrator you don't need to spend too much on energy for you to dehydrate your leaves now the good thing about these leaves is that you can get them from money markets at a very cheap price all those money markets in nigeria in in Port Harcourt, you can go to Rumokoro or uh, Maitri Money Market and you get them at a very cheap price. In Lagos, you can go to Oibo Market. That month, they sell leaves and other things there very early in the morning at a very good price. You buy these things at very good prices, dehydrate them and sell to make enough profit. So you can imagine putting the leaves in melons like this or use containers like this if you can get plastics like this you can always get things like this online on aliexpress i'm going to put the links to these items in the description box below look at this or for i don't know the english name so if you have something like this you have other leaves dehydrated leaves you have um this is obono so if you have things like this you can cook without having to go to the market so this is a problem to some persons and if you can solve this problem you can make money from it um, some people don't have time going to the market each time they want to prepare one little thing so all these leaves um, this ziplock nylon here is um, 80 naira um, is an equivalent of 80 naira the smaller size I don't think it's a difference of uh, more than difference of 10 naira or 20 naira and then this won't be expensive then um, if you want to market these things to market these things you can market them online there are a lot of people that will be willing to buy these things from you online you can also export these items i've not exported food outside nigeria so i can't really tell you that this is the price or this is how it's working i've seen um, some companies on instagram that are taking care of things like this i've not used any of them so um you can make your research and see Honestly, if you package your items like this, people will want to buy from you. People are going to contact you and they'll buy from you. You can sell them, supply them to supermarkets, supply them to um, any store around you. The price for a dehydrator is it's about a hundred euro, which is an equivalent of um, 40,000. Talking about preservation, dehydration on its own is a means of preservation. The moment you're able to remove moisture from these items, you're able to also suck out the air using the vacuum sealer, you'll be able to keep these items for more than a year. So you don't have any problem when it comes to preservation um, for leaves like this and every other food items you want to dehydrate. If you know you're going to be de dehydrating much, you can get an oven so you can get someone to construct an oven for you in nigeria if you don't have too much to spend on the oven um, but new ovens are always better you can be very sure they'll serve you for a long time without giving you issues but if you don't have money let somebody con construct an oven for you at um, a price below a hundred thousand so with a hundred thousand you can start this business having your oven and all this packaging nylons now how do you raise money for such business this is 
is a business you can start with little income, little capital. When you want to do business like this, it's easy for people to help you. If they know they're giving you this money to start up a business, there are people that are willing to help you. They know that this thing is going to change your life. Instead of asking for money for phone, money for clothes and all that, people will get tired of you. If you don't have the money for this business and you have a property, you have an expensive phone, you have things around you that are expensive, sell these things. A lot of things are going out of vogue and with time, you will need to buy a new one. So why not sell these things that are like a liability to you? They're not adding value to you. They're not giving you money. So it's not an asset. Sell these things and start up little business that will create a sustainable source of income for you. With time, you'll be able to buy all these things. I can assure you, you really need money because if you're broke, you don't have any money and you need to beg someone for you to eat. You need to beg money to be able to buy anything you want. You'll be depressed. You won't be happy because you're going to face a lot of disappointments in life. You can never count on humans. The truth is the limits to which humans can help you is always limited because they can't even help themselves. They're not even sure of helping themselves, not to talk about helping you. And no matter how close or how nice someone is to you, there is always a tendency that they'll disappoint you or they cannot meet up the, to the things they really want to do to, um, for you in life. So don't depend on people. Don't rely on people. Try to make little source of income. While waiting for that wonderful job, while waiting for that big business idea, start up businesses like this that you can do with very little capital. I'll be sharing some other business ideas with you. So if you like this video and you've been able to learn anything from this video, don't fail to drop a comment. If you have any questions, you can leave your questions in the um, comment section. I'll take out time to reply all the questions. The aim is to help you create a sustainable source of income and to help you um, have hope and to live inside of that hope because I really wish the best for you all. I hate to see people um, beg for everything they want to have. I hate to see people suffer because of something that can be solved. Thank you very much. Bye.